Yo, Vaison tier. So I think Jafar is S tier, even SS tier. You could pretty much put him in almost any team. You pretty much think of Zhongli and Genshin, the shielder. You put up shields and then your DPS can do whatever the heck it wants. You do the same thing here. You use him for shield and your DPS to go bring the beat down on the enemies. Um, you can actually pair it up with a healer too and your team's pretty much like immortal. <laughs> just like, ha, oh, right? And then just take everything and like, is that all? All right, so I'm completely free to play. I didn't spend a dime, no battle pass, no nothing. I don't have, I'm not even super lucky. Okay, I got your part in my beginning summon and then I got well like a few days ago. It's my DPS now. But yeah, I have E0. Uh, my light cone is just the one you get from Simulator Universe when you grind enough. Okay, I was using this light cone for a while now and then I finally got this. I don't have any other good preservation light cone that's four star. <laughs> You can use the three star option. Anyway, we'll go over that later. So let's get on the reason why I think he's so great. He doesn't unlock his full potential of being a tanker or in the tank role until he gets to Equilibrium 2. Because then on Equilibrium 2, you unlock the trace that integrity. Jappar has a higher chance of getting attacked by enemies. So before then, he, everything's on equal ground. Now you have this, you can deviate all the attention to him. And on a side note, you want to either put him in the beginning of the team or the end of the team because there's some monsters that attack the target and every adjacent target, right? It's like an AOE kind of thing or like a splash damage actually. And since it's going to hit Japar most of the time and it's going to hit people next to him, if you put him in the second or third row, um, the uh, people next to them are going to get hit. So that's three targets. But if you put him on the sides, that only target one, uh, two targets him and then you put your second most tanky character next to him all right so in turn every time he gets hit he gets energy right and that in turn builds ultimate so the second reason why is i think he's great because of the shield it applies to everyone not just one person like march 7 is great don't get me wrong but she targets one target but that allows you to have flexible tanks. But most of the time, you just want to hit your tankiest character. He just won't die, right? He's, he has a talent on here, which is not used as often, right? Most of the time, if you're if you're getting a killing blow, your rest of the team's already like probably dead or something, or <laughs> already gone. But you can still muster in case it has, you know, just a little bit more to go. And sometimes. You're just tanky enough that you don't even die and you just win the battle just by having him by himself. One man army, right? So he gives shields to everyone and it lasts for three turns and that's based on defense. Okay, so you do want to build mostly defense because that's the main thing. And when I feel like the true power spike is when he gets this to Ascension 6 where 35% of his defense is get into his attack and it gets refreshed every turn. Okay, I don't want to get ahead of myself, so we're going to move on to the next reason. The skill. It gives him potential constant CC, so he can keep freezing the enemy. So this skill does ice damage and has 65 base chance to freeze the enemy. And then when it's their turn, they don't get to move and you do damage based on his attack so if you're down to like the last enemy and hopefully they don't have like freeze immunity or something you can actually just keep freezing them each turn and it just makes things a lot easy right so you have potential of ccing or you can just cc any monster you want to just have them frozen for a while and you could concentrate on the other monsters so that that is great and it's just like it's just a regular skill you can just do that anytime <laughs> when you have skill points. All right, so I don't know if things actually do have freeze immunity. Um, probably they just have super high freeze res. So if you have enough hit effect hit rate high enough, you can probably still freeze them, especially if you have that E1. In my opinion, I think there's two potential builds you can go for. You can go for the full defensive support Japar, or you can go for the hybrid that does damage, but also kind of tanky Japar. Obviously not as tanky, but at least you can do some kind of damage. Like currently my build, I do like 400 as the punch. Like in the skill, it does a three hit punch, right? Three hit combo, it does like 300, 400 a hit. Instead of, I think without, if I go full support, it'll be like a hundred a hit. 
Anyways, let's go over my current relics. This is the one I went for. I went for two piece defense and two piece ice damage. As you can see here, obviously, if you're going full support defensive Jafar, you want to go for four piece of this. It makes your shields 20% more effective. Okay. And then the main stat you want to go for is obviously defense. Everything's kind of pretty much going to stay with defense, especially when you get Ascension 6. You want to run defense. And then secondary, you want effect hit rate if you can get it. I wasn't unlucky with this, but I'm not going to farm too much. I just got this like, oh, shoot. I decided to upgrade it. And I accidentally upgraded to the max. I didn't want it to do that because it's just a four star. But I didn't notice until I clicked it too late. So don't mind the numbers here. <laughs> so you want defense, effect hit rate. And then if you're going for hybrid, you want ice damage. And then you can also run energy regenerate. But since you're getting hit a lot, every time you get hit, you get energy anyway. So I never personally have a problem getting my shields back up because I get hit so often that my energy would just come back in like two or three turns. Um, and then since my I went pretty much full defense, my shields are actually pretty tanky. <laughs> so they don't go down that, that fast anyways. All right, so the headpiece is flat HP. This one is flat attack for gloves. And armor, you want just defense, just straight up defense. And then if you can get effect hit rate and flat defense in here, even better. Um, even if you have some speed in there, it's nice. Um, just so you can go in and it plants you CC more or you can hit more for more energy. But I feel like just being your full defensive tankiness, just embracing that is key. All right, shoes, you want defense. Just, just more defense, okay? So now the orb kind of depends on which build you're going for. Um, no matter what, you want to go for this set anyways. I got this one early, so I'm using it. It has ice damage boost. But this, this one is the one you want to go for this set. Increases wear defense by 15%. And then when it have effect hit rate, which is your second scary skill you want. So you want 50% or more of this, you get 15% more defense. So that's why you want effect hit rate as your secondary uh, to look out for. So you can run this more efficiently. So depending on if I can only get ice damage on here. Now, since I'm going for the hybrid build, I want ice damage boost on here. But if I want a full defensive build, this thing is good. If I can get effect hit rate on here as well, that'd be even better. All right. And then the rope. Um, I think defense is probably the best, but if you have energy regen rate as well, it's not too bad too. I will consider getting that. Um, so it'll be the one with this thing, right? The defense one. So let's start talking about light cones. So you pretty much want light cone that give you defense. This one's not so bad either. You get this for like free by running the simulation universe. You get to eight of the currency in there and then you can just buy it and then you can buy the superimposed one. You can increase this even more. But yeah, so there's a lot of four star that increase defense. Um, those are probably the ones that you want that has preservation and defense. And if you have more copies, it could be even better than this. Okay. And because then especially if you don't have hunt or destruction, where's the other two? Um, you could just pretty much just dump everything into preservation. So, but that's not the best light cone, okay? The best light cone you can get is the one that you get from the gacha or the store here. It's the moment of victory. It has a space on it. Obviously, it's good for him. Obviously, it's also good for like March 7 and stuff. So it increases the defense and effect hit rate. Those are the two that you want to go for, right? And it increases your taunt because you want to get hit to get more energy. This helps you with that. And every time you get hit, you get more, even more defense. And if you're essential six, you get more attack with this. <laughs> so it's like a win-win. It's like the best thing. And you have a five star. You get five star stats like Cone, man. Yo, another reason why he's great. Um, this is idol animation. If you just leave him for a while, um, he will sing his sister's song, or at least try to. <laughs> na, 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 na.